Hello and welcome to my channel. This reading is for those of you that have strongly Aries in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter for June 2019. Please have in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is down there below. Okay, Aries, let's see. Ooh. What messages will come through, Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for June 2019, Aries. Yeah. Now is the time that you're really looking into the future. It's like you... I... No, not worry about the future, but definitely making a plan for the future. There you go. And you are not telling anyone. You're keeping it a secret. Some of you are dealing with air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you are. You could have left this person behind, Aries, or they left you behind. But again, I'm hearing that you have plans regarding also this relationship. But not only the relationship. There are other things that are concerning you outside from love and romance. I'm getting also for a lot of you out there, you have stopped waiting for a specific person. Okay, so you are open to meeting new people. Not romantically. Okay, could be also romantically, but I'm getting more that you are willing to meet new people, make new friendships, find your soul tribe. This is what I'm hearing, okay? Two more shuffles for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, June 2019. Aries, one more for Aries. Okay, there you are, Aries. Okay, Aries. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Let me come closer. You can see the cards. Okay. We have the Knight of Pentacles, okay? As I said before, this for me is planning, okay? Brick by brick, step by step, slowly, slowly, but surely. So if you're planning, okay? You have something in mind. Also, this could pertain to your career, okay? And you know, Aries, that it's gonna take time, but it's going to be successful, okay? So. First card for you is the Nine of Pentacles. A lot of you are also starting your own business. Mm -hmm. And for others you, of you, I'm hearing that you're embracing, you're embracing your individuality and your singlehood. Yeah. Strength card. The chariot. It was not Aries easy for you to make this decision to move forward on whatever this is, but you are on your chariot and you are moving forward. Okay? Six of Pentacles. What I'm hearing is that you're going towards fair share and balance. I'm also hearing something regarding colleagues or business partners. You want to work with people that 
are on the same level as you. And for those of you that are not on the same level, no, you will not, you will not co co collaborate with those people. No, you're not. Okay. Yes, five of wands. Justice. The tower. And the Ten of Cups. Okay? I'm also getting here, Aries, that a lot of people are not going to be happy with your choices. They're not going to like your choices. Okay? Because that could mean your plans could mean that you are moving residents. You're leaving someone behind. You see, this movement of yours will bring the tower moment here for... Uh, could also be that you're leaving a career, a job, and you're facing your boss, you're, you're, you're telling him, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit. And you, everyone is in shock, it was like, why? What is the problem? They don't want you to move. This could also pertain to romance or friendships. It doesn't have to be only romance, romantic relationships. However, you are moving forward, okay? And some people are not going to like that. Also, I'm hearing that mm -hmm, there, there is a, a group of Aries out there that are leaving a relationship that was long-term because they have someone that they really care about and they feel that this is not fair for, 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 for no one, okay? So they, they're designed, they're showing a lot of strength here a lot of strength and they want to bring balance fairness but it doesn't have to be that someone is leaving someone to go to someone else it could also be that someone is leaving and that's it okay because they want to be single they want to find their power Please have in mind that whatever I say can't go the other way around. However, Aries, wherever you are going, you know that it's going to be better for, from, from where, we, where you are now. With the Ten of Cups, let's clarify the Ten of Cups for Aries, please. Yes, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This is also, for me, balancing the scales of emotion and, 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 and practicality. Okay? Emotions are you know, are desirable and wanted, but emotions without practicality is, you know, unbalanced. The scale is not going to be balanced. So here, Aries, you're trying to find the balance between practicality, okay, emotions and logic, okay? That's why you have decided to move forward here with the chariot. Let's clarify the chariot for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Yes, please. Chariot for Aries. Yeah. Two of Pentacles. Again. For me here, again, is balancing, balancing the scales. Balancing, again, with the Two of, uh, of Pentacles here. Mm -hmm. And you know, Aries, that this is going to bring you abundance and happiness. Balance. Mm-hmm. Let's clarify the tower. The hanged man, the page of wands, the hierophant, the queen of wands, and on the bottom of the deck we have judgment. Okay? Now. Yeah, yeah. For others of you, yeah, this is what I'm getting. There are those of you that will end a relationship, end a marriage, and be single. And this is the group of you that um, have someone. Someone here decided that they want this. 
that they want to commit after a long period of stagnation with the hangman here and someone is going to be surprised you're going to surprise someone someone's going to surprise you Aries but I do see here the willingness and the offer of commitment and stability within a relationship okay yeah someone here was holding back their feelings they were not not you know expressing they were not taking action but this person is in love this person is in love They're, they're ready to take the blind off. Yes, they're ready to take the blind off because they have seen while the blind are, was on, they use their intuition, okay? Yes, now it's time for them to take the blind off and release themselves and take action, okay? Take action toward, towards this, this queen or king. Yes, I wanna clarify the nine of pentacles. We have the nine of wands. Again, okay, someone here does not want to stay tight. Does not want to stay tight. You see this? This, this lady here is tight. But tight in to toxicity. Tied on, on a situation or on a person That is, 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 is toxic. These positions are not healthy. This is not healthy and this is not healthy. And both of, of them are tied. But w willingness, like, I hope I'm using the right word. Like, this is your choice. Or was their choice until up to now, because now... Someone here is choosing, after so showing a lot of strength, to release, to let go, okay? To let go, because they feel, they know that something better is out there. Something's be something better is in the future for them, okay? A new day, a, a dawn, a new day, okay? Let's clarify now justice. Seven of Cups, the Hermit. Yes, the Seven of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. So there was healing involved here. Yes, of course. A lot of um, thinking with the Hermit mode here in the, in, in the Hermit mode. The, oh my goodness. The Emperor. Yeah. Well, definitely someone here is ready to take action. We have the Knight of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and we have the Emperor. Again, I'm seeing stability here. Stability. And definitely, I'm hearing a new direction. New direction. Okay, after being confused with the Seven of Cups here, there was a lot of confusion. Didn't know which way to go. You didn't know if you want to stay or go. Okay. There were a lot of choices and paths and ways. Okay, this is what I'm hearing. But then again, this helped you. And I'm getting Aries that you were in, in, in this energy of the hermit. During, definitely, during May, but maybe for a lot of you, even before May, okay? And there are things that here that you did try to fight off, or this could be the other person that you're dealing with, okay? They were fighting change, or you were, fi or you were fighting change. However, Someone here is definitely ready to make 
a move to take action. After balancing the scales. After balancing the scales. So yeah, during hermit mode, someone here was balancing their emotions, their thoughts. Yeah. Now, whoever this is, they're ready. Very ready. For a new beginning. Yeah. Okay, let's see what message will come through from spirits for you. Aries. Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, June 2019. Aries. Movement. Yes. Movement meditation. I celebrate and honor my physical body through dance and movement. Movement. Action. And yes, of course, celebration here. I mean, look, it took a lot of strength to do that, to, to finally take this step and move with, with your chariot. So yes, it's time for you to celebrate. Tap yourself on the back mm -hmm. and be proud. Wow, okay. Let's see now what message will come through from the uh, spirit animal. Yes, from your spirit animal for this month in June. For Aries, please, for Aries. Thank you. Hummingbird, okay. Hummingbird miracles. Oh, these cards are so beautiful. You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wing wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People that love you and really care about you, they will be very happy when they see you on your chariot moving forward. For others, they're not going to be happy. They're going to be very jealous. So maybe this is also a time for you, Aries, to understand who is really there for you and who really cares. Mm -hmm. Who... Like, when you're happy, they are happy. This is what I'm getting here. Okay. Now, let's pick a card for love. <laughs> for Aries. Ooh, I need a haircut. <laughs> okay, let's see. Aries for love. Aries for love, please. Thank you. Two. Okay. We have love is like a rosebud. It may reach full blossom or it might die softly. Okay. And again, in this, in this energy, I have the two groups. For those of you that the love is blossoming and you have decided to move forward with this connection. And for the others of you that this, whatever you had with this person died slowly slowly with the knight of pentacles but yet yeah, it died so now it's time for you to move forward love is unexpected you don't know when it will come and it's coming okay for those of you that have been waiting on someone this person is coming okay this is what i got for you if this reading did not resonate you can also watch your moon your rising your venus and your jupiter Bye.